So what I thought I would do for this build, although these work really well in the past, I thought I would uh, try to get something a little bit more waterproof. Uh, I will be definitely using flood coolant on my Precision Matthews and these right here are definitely not uh, coolant proof. So I picked up these plunger type and they just barely need any kind of movement. Now these have a gasket. They're supposed to be they're not rated as waterproof but they're supposed to be water resistant. They have this nice rubber boot here and the nice rubber boot here and uh, they're supposed to be water resistant so we're going to give these a shot they're not too big um, they're about an inch and an eighth by uh, say four inches from here to here so but they're a little bit more industrial than the little limit switches and I think they'll they'll work out just fine so I'm just going to wire these up and there's just a couple of sets of contacts in there take this apart and I can show you there's a little supposed to be a little gasket in here to kind of keep it water resistant They definitely look a little more industrial. And yeah, you can see this gasket here. So hopefully that will work out a little bit better, especially with flood coolant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect this one and uh, get it ready to put in. Okay, so I've just slid the lid over and uh, I removed the micro limit switch and these you'll be fine using these if you're going to just use maybe some mist or coolant or something if you're just using like mist coolant this should be fine but uh, this is a little bit more industrial so I just put a double layer of heat shrink on here and these are going to get connected to the normally closed set of contacts. I tin the ends of the wires here. Now, one thing I want to point out when tinning your wires, don't put a big glob on here. Just get enough on there to keep the strands together. Uh, there is a anomaly that has been documented. Uh, it's called flow out. If the wire gets heated enough, then you can get where your solder will flow and it'll actually loosen the connection. And it's not usually a problem with low voltage, low amperage wires like this, but it can happen with some of your bigger wires. It's a good practice not to just put a big glob of solder on there. Also for the normally open set of contacts go ahead and just tighten those up so they don't come loose later on. And uh, that's it. I'm going to slide this back boot back up. This boot's nice. It'll help keep it any kind of liquid out of there. A little more. Slide it to the end of the boot there. And then uh, make sure we haven't bothered the integrity of the gasket here. And you just snug it up. It doesn't have to be too tight because it has a rubber gasket. And this cover is actually plastic. The blue base is some kind of pot metal. But the plastic is... Uh, the top here, the black portion, is uh, plastic. Okay, that looks good. And that should provide a nice watertight seal. There. 
Okay, so now that we've done this end, we're going to do the other end, our aviation plug. Now the aviation plug has this little Phillips screw here on these uh, 16 millimeter plugs. Just remove that. Don't lose it. Then you do like a twist and pull. Take the other end of my cable here. I'm going to put a piece of uh, quarter inch shrink heat shrink on here. Slide my end over. And looking at our drawing, um, connector goes like this, so the black on the right, and the red on the left. Need like six hands here. Okay, black. The red. Okay. That should be fine. Slide the heat shrink up. Fold the white wire back. We're not using right now. Slide that over our terminals. Crank it. Okay. Slide the end over. See, you can kind of see the little lock mechanism here. Give it a turn. Line the hole up. Just screw. So there we have our limit switches and they're ready to be hooked up to our electronics panel and mounted on the machine. So I just got to do two more of these and uh, they'll be completed. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments. Please subscribe and most importantly be safe.